Hello everyone, welcome back to Monster Hunter World, and uh, yeah, today we're going to be hunting a Bracadios, and Bracadios, I uh, was never particularly good at fighting, but um, this was the first time I'd ever actually tried to fight it with a greatsword. As you may remember from my previous run-ins, or my previous videos, you'll remember sometime around Berioth in 3U was when I started using a lance, pretty much exclusively. Never really tried using a greatsword, because I didn't want to fuck people over by fainting in the lobbies. So I tried not to do that. However, I'm not going to go full optimal for this, in fact I'm going just pretty much to make sure I don't freaking die. That's what I'm doing here. So I went full three anti-blast because I was like, I think this thing puts like crap on the floor that explodes and uh, you know, I just don't really want to deal with that so I'm not gonna. And uh, yeah. So this was me, basically me modifying my build because in my opinion this is what you do in Monster Hunter. You can go full DPS and just probably be okay but I'm not gonna do that. And, yeah. I will say, uh, earplugs would make this a lot easier. I was trying to go, wait a minute, that's a lot of wasted points. Earplugs would make this a lot easier because at certain points in this particular mission, as your Rathalo shows up and they just start yelling at each other for like 10 seconds straight and you can't do anything and it just pisses me off, but, uh, you don't need it. As you're about to see because I took that off. Um... And yeah, this is, a lot of people are going to say, the most wasteful thing known to all mankind's history, using a level 1 thing in a level 4 slot. I don't care. It will work. Because I need that blast resistance, okay? Okay. Um, I don't know why I kept that one or earplug thing, and that would have been the thing to replace. I'm an idiot. Uh, but yeah. I was in a bit of a hurry to get this recorded yesterday. I was trying to figure out where's this at? Is this in the fucking ice or is this in the Elder's Recess? I need to figure out which drink to bring. Shit, it don't tell me. Okay, fine. I'll just bring both of them then. Because with Bracadios, you need to make sure, one, your stamina is not going down, and two, that your health's not constantly going down. That's kind of a big freaking deal, you know? To answer your question, it's in the Elder's Recess, so you want to bring cool drinks, but I didn't know that at the time. A, prepar a proper preparation is key to avoid piss-poor performance, to quote a great man that's now dead, Anthony Bourdain. So, yeah, do your due diligence, prepare yourself, don't don't be that hunter that just like, whoopsie doodles, which I kind of was because I didn't need the immunity mantle, but I forgot if he did anything else. I should have brought the Vitality Mantle, or the uh, Stealth Mantle would have also worked. I don't know if Rocksteady would have been very good here. I don't, I don't really like the Rocksteady Mantle, but yeah, here's the introduction. It's a kind of cool introduction, I just... I don't... I don't know. It's kind of blasé. I mean, it's kind of like every other introduction in Monster Hunter World. Uh-oh, here's the new one beating up an old monster. Or rather, I guess this is this is kind of like even cheaper than that. It's not even them beating up a new an old monster. This one's just like the aftermath of it. Notice that green stuff on him? Yeah. You don't want to stand in that when that's on the floor. As you'll notice. That's basically this thing's uh, gimmick is the uh, gunk it spits out. You notice it's turning? Yep. That's the, uh, the hint. It goes from green to yellow to red, and then it explodes. Don't sit in that. <laughs> I'm assuming if you're anywhere near that stuff, you'll get Blast Blight. But I don't know that, because I use Anti-Blast. And there's old Punchysaurus Rex, otherwise known as Bracadios. I like saying that name. It's a fun name to say, Bracadios. Dios míos, it's a Bracadios. Uh, but yeah. I've, I've never understood the concept behind this thing, but hey, it's fun, so why not, right? Now this thing is faster than it ever has any right to be, for as big as it is. 
Uh, but I'd completely forgotten this thing's moveset, as you'll figure out, but I, I learned it fairly quick. Again. But yeah, I remembered the green stuff you don't want to sit in. But I thought, ah, I got this on, it'll probably, you know, protect me from... I forgot you could also, uh, get stuck in it as well. So yeah, you really don't want to be in that. I am a fly, get away from me. Um, but yeah, you don't want to sit in that. If you get caught in that, basically you gotta hope you either have a, uh, temporal mantle on, that's the only time you can really be stupid like I am right now. And, uh, I was also leveling up my Shield Spire, because I already leveled up my, uh, Coral Orchestra on my, uh, Palico, so that's why I was doing that, if you're wondering. And here I was trying to be slick, but it did not work. Nope. Now this thing has one particular attack that I hate, but I don't think he does it until he is, uh, what's the word? Uh, not berserking, uh, frenzying or whatever the hell. Uh, but he basically just shoots a bunch of stuff all over the arena, and you have to, it's kind of like, uh, I don't want to say it's like Kieran, but it's where you have to stand in a particular area, otherwise you're going to get, uh, blown up, basically. That's, like, this thing's worst move. Uh, the actual moveset of him punching is not that dangerous, in my opinion, but it's something to be aware of. Also, you're gonna get well acquainted with your Superman dive if you're, like, not a charge blade or a lance or gun lance user. Or possibly, I guess, boss, uh, sword and shield might uh, also not have to do that quite as much, but every other class, you're gonna get used to that. <laughs> Just trust me. Because things in Master Rank, well, you've already seen how much they hurt. Of course, I always have the worst luck. I always have the worst luck when I, uh, when I mount things. It seems like the game goes, oh, you're mounting things. Well, we're gonna have your Palico frickin' paralyze them right now. And it's like, well, Barak, why don't you just jump off and start swinging? It's like, well, fuck it, dude. I'm gonna knock this thing over, and then I'll start swinging. It just seems like the worst luck. <laughs> it does. And yes, you can jump off for the people who don't know. Just press X and you'll drop off, as it says up there. You can just jump off and start. But I was like, well, I mean, this is a free knockdown, so fuck it. And I was a little distracted being annoyed. That's why I only got the rank one charge there. That was bad on my part. So, you know, I, I acknowledge that. I understand that. And if I was smart, I would have gotten some rocks to cut down that charge time, but I was uh, fine there. Anyway. The tail doesn't really... To help make this a lot easier. What makes this fight a lot easier if you break his uh, front lay or his front uh, punchies. I believe, because I did break one of them, I believe that will stop them from dropping that green gunk all over the floor. Uh, if you break the right one, only the left one will. If you break the left one, only the right one will, etc. etc. Yeah, just if you break those, it makes the fight a lot simpler. I think. Uh, I only did this fight the one time in the world so far, but I think that's how that works. In my experience, my limited experience fighting this thing, that's how it worked. Also, yeah, I actually carved the thing I learned from last time. As soon as you cut it off, carve it. <laughs> now, once he leaves this first area, things get a little more complicated, because I think this is where, uh... Azure Rathalos comes in, or possibly maybe the third area, but one of these areas, Azure Rathalos comes into play. Okay, it's not this one. I thought he was in a different area. Um, but yeah, soon that thing comes into play. I was trying to tackle there to get rid of that, but it's fine. You're gonna have to play at a little bit of a distance at times with this thing, just because he like it's like a little bit like Basil Goose. He likes sitting in his own explosive sometimes, and it's just not feasible to waltz your ass up there. Or sometimes he just will uh, go on a punching spree and you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time and you haven't memorized his moveset to actually stay away from it, but... I was like, I think he's about to jump, but he didn't jump far enough for me. And this was gutsy. But it worked. I mean, a little bit. Not really, but I didn't get hit. That's what I qualify as worked. I mean, sometimes I'm just slow. I was trying to gauge this thing's moveset a little bit, is my defense, so, you know, after not having fight, fought this thing in over a decade, I, I feel that's not entirely unwarranted a little bit. 
because I'd rather be a little more... I didn't see that on the floor, if you're wondering. I'd be, rather be a little more... He's a uh, Berserk now, I believe. I'm not sure if that means he's Berserk, but yeah, I think that means if he does put shit on the ground, it starts at yellow instead of green, so that's really bad. As far as you have less time to react, I think is what that does. It seems like that's what that does. Again, I'm no authority on this fight. I've only fought him the one time. I'm just telling you from my experience, this is what I believe to be true. But it seems like when he gets berserked, either the thing on his horn goes from yellow or red instead of green. When he's green, I think he's relatively calm. It seems like when he's yellow or red, he's uh, more aggressive. I'm not sure, but it seems like it. Uh, so yeah, it took me a long time to even find this guy, too. I went around the whole goddamn map. I didn't find him until like 10 minutes into the hunt. Here I am trying to be Galaxy Brain again. You think it'll work this time? Yeah, it worked this time. And of course, this time... I was holding R1, so I got a really shitty thing there instead of, I was hoping to do the quick draw, but I was like, well, fuck it, I'm going for it. I might not be able to get a full true charge, but I'm going for it. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? <laughs> Even if it was uh, not exactly optimal. But yeah, I was, I was trying to just do the whole uh, swing L L2 true charge. Didn't work that way because I was on a damn ramp. I swear the ramps fuck me over more than they help me most of the time because I'm not a hammer user. Ooh, that was a close one. Uh, but yeah, it does seem like it, doesn't it? Uh, that was just bad dodging right there on my end. I was like, oh yeah, you, you get tired right just now. Well, fuck it, I'm going, I'm playing with my life right now. And the death, I still say that should have landed, but it just did not land. <laughs> It was like half a millimeter away from landing before I would have gotten the life steal from it, man. But nope. Always err on the side of caution and master rank. Oh, that's the move I'm talking about. Yep, he just sends it everywhere. <laughs> yeah, he's in. Uh, he's mad. That's the most dangerous one, because if you're looking at him like I do most of the time, it's kind of hard to see behind you. And that was a bad one. Actually, no, I didn't. I landed that. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh... It's kind of hard. To, I mean, you you can't look everywhere at once. And in that move, you kind of either have to know the pattern he lays it out in, or just stay in an area that you know is safe, like around you. Which, I was like, what are you doing? What? My palico's not even over there. What are you doing? It's hard to get much of a charge against this guy, by the way, as a greatsword. So, I mean... I should have went with more of a uh, uh, crit draw build with this. That would have made more sense, I think. But I was being lazy with my build. I'll just tell you that. Okay, now this one at least makes sense. He's going on Felicity, which makes sense considering, you know, Felicity has the shield spire up. I'm still not sure what he what, it, what that means when he licks his arms. Does that mean he's just putting more stuff onto his arms so he can, like, spread more? I'm not sure what that means. I'm like, I'm not fighting you in that narrow little thing over there. I'm not doing it. Especially, be like trying to fight Basil Goose in a hallway. Nah, no, nah, thank you. I'm not going to do that. Can you come over here? Will you come over here? Get over here. I feel like that Hey Arnold couple. You come over here. No, you come over here. There's a franchise. I was like, I'm going to try and be fancy. He'll come over. He's not coming over here. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, maybe if I hadn't had Felicity, that would have worked. But, uh, I thought he was going to come try me. I was going to try and do some fancy true charge thing. But, uh, you know, my prediction skills on a monster I haven't fought in over a decade are pretty weak. Would have been cool, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's the thing with the greatsword. You either look like you know exactly what you're doing, or you look like a jackass. For me, about 70% of the time, I look like a jackass. I'd like to say it was a lower percentage than that, but I'm being honest. I look like a jerk more though, more often than not with the great sword. And yes, I'm still using the rocket sword because I still love this weapon and it hasn't let me down yet in Master Rank. Now, if I ever get to a point where I just cannot kill something, I will grind out a new great sword in Master Rank, but you know what? That was not intentional, by the way, either. Uh, I was looking for a cool drink and I saw, ooh, a white item. That's it, right? Nope. Oh, well, not like the immunity mantle was doing me any favors anyway, so it's like, well, hell, what, what does it even matter at this point, right? <laughs> I would imagine you can trap this thing, but I don't know that. 
Uh, it probably would make this a lot easier as well, but yeah, this is one of those uh, annoying areas just because Azure Rathalos is all over the place and they just start screaming at each other like toddlers in a fight in a sandbox. Because that's basically what this is. Screaming, screaming, screaming. I was like, well, I wish I could tell you that I could capitalize on this, but I have no idea where you're gonna be, and I thought the thing would last longer than that, but they didn't. So you just gotta take what you can get, man. Of course, he went forward, because as is my custom in life, they get tired as soon as they go 50 feet in another direction, they don't get tired when they're just standing there, but I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna try again. You know, if you're gonna screw me over, screw you. That's the one thing I hate about Master Rank. If you if you hit something really hard, they run like 50 goddamn feet in the other direction, or they fall 20 feet in another direction. I'm being a little hyperbolic here, but they do seem to fall like 20 feet in another direction, and it just annoys the piss out of me. I don't know about you, but it does me. But that's just because I don't really know the the uh, positioning yet on these monsters, because it's my first time trying to fight these things. I was like, oh, he'll come over here. Uh, yeah. He never went over there. He just sat there. And then ran 50 feet in another direction for now. So this is optimistic. And it actually worked. <laughs> I mean, it didn't do much damage, but it was optimistic and it worked. A little more of a little bit of a bury off move there. Looks like, like a... That's not a good idea to be in. <laughs> Ooh. A little bit of... Instinct dodge in there. Nope. I was like, oh, I can just... I mean, I almost landed that, to be honest, to be fair, but I didn't. <laughs> almost don't count in Monster Hunter. <laughs> it only counts in grenades. Or if you actually play horseshoes, but who the hell plays horseshoes in this day and age? That's, am I right? I don't know anybody that plays it, but I'm getting off topic now. Yeah, this is a... Uh... It can be a little of an annoying fight, because you can't drink all the times you want to. You can only drink at certain times. It's about like some bosses in Dark Souls. I still say they made Monster Hunter World a lot easier, because you used to not be able to even drink while you were moving. See what I mean? Just falls 20 feet away. Doesn't give a fuck about Greatsword users and their experience. It's like, I don't think I can land this, but it's kind of close, and he moved. <laughs> God damn it. Every time I try and line one up, you jump. Every time. It's kind of funny if it wasn't so annoying. Probably funny for you, not so much for me. I was like, yeah, no, no, nope. Nope. Not getting in that. I'll take the extra few minutes fight. Thank you. This is not a good idea to roll that way, but it worked. He does seem to also change the... the volat... Uh, vo what's the word? Not volatility. That's not a word. He does seem to change the, the color of the gunk when he hits it as well, kind of like uh, if you hit the pods from Basil Gears. So if he's uh, punching around the place, you know, if it's green, you might want to just get the fuck out and just count your loss right there. Just, just, just you know, cut your losses and just go, no, I'll just take the extra few minutes in the hunt. I don't want to get hit by that. I was trying to, like, oh, he's gonna go over the. Oh, okay, he's out of bounds. Shit. <laughs> I hate fighting him in this area. It's so annoying to fight him in this area, because you're out of bounds. He's, he's out of bounds half the frickin' fight. Flying, get out of here. Um. Yeah, he just goes out of bounds, and it's hard to follow him because. Well, I mean, as you can see, he's not only. He's not really leaving a whole bunch of gunk now. I think that's because he didn't lick his hands in a while. But. Or maybe I, because I broke him, or maybe I'm. I don't know what's the reasoning. How he's okay? It is because he has to lick the things. That's what that is. I was like, I'm gonna try it. Maybe he'll spin into it, but no, he didn't. <laughs> okay, so that is how that mechanic works. We've worked that out now. It's because he has to lick his hands. It's kind of like Barioth with the mud. He has to roll around in the mud before he gets more. God damn it, fly! Do I have to actually kill you before you leave? Um, there's a fly just swim, just going all over the place right now in front of me because my computer screens a light in the darkness right now um, but yeah I would save your t 
temporal mantle for when he enrages, like right now. If you want to try something fancy like I am, which I was, but I failed, as you can tell. <laughs> and yeah, I was trying to break the arms just to see if I could, and trying to be fancy again. Do you think it worked? It worked. <laughs> I was starting to get onto his moves a little bit at this point. I was starting to realize how he works a little bit better now. You can only, you know, this guy's, he doesn't have a whole lot of moves. So once you get used to the moves, it's really not that bad. I mean, the worst move he has is that one where he just, like, throws a bunch of gunk everywhere in the room, pretty much. I was like, okay, he's going to be going toward Felicity, I'm going to work toward that, and then I missed, because I'm an idiot. But I tried. Nope. I was like, I'm going to try and... I'm going to get this thing off eventually, and he's like, no, I'm going to be behind you, bro. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> I was trying to angle that to the right, but it just did not work. It did not work. It was actually pretty embarrassing. Like, okay, I'll just do this then. Nope, I'm going to turn and jump. Damn you. Damn you and the horse that you rode in on. It's actually really funny looking back at just how many very close true charges I missed. And I mean missed badly in this. Oh, not a good place to be. Yeah, those ones you just gotta find the crack in the, uh, the gunk and just stay in there, I think. If you try and run around like a jackass, you're liable to just run into another one. And always be prepared to dive. You have to. This is uh, optimistic at best. <laughs> uh, where's he going? He's... Okay, he's doing that. Oh, not a good place to be. I was trying to dive again, but I didn't have the speed to dive. As you might have guessed. But thankfully, he just kind of screwed off after I took the big hit. Instead of pressing his advantage. Pick it up. There you go. <laughs> That's why the guy in Darkest Dungeon says, press this advantage. You have to, otherwise, you know, you give people like me a chance to come back. That guy is a wonderful narrator, by the way. I can only ever hope to become half as good as he is. I was like, oh good, as your Rathalos going right down there. I'm sure it'll be a fair 1v1v1 and totally not a 2v1. Yep. How do you think this played out? Go ahead, tell me. Tell me what your opinion is on how this is going to go. I hate Azure Rathalos with a great passion in this game. Bracadios I don't mind, but I was like, okay, well I can see why Bracadios would hate me. I've been beating the shit out of him. Azure Rathalos shouldn't mind me, right? Right? To be fair, he's not minding me right now. That was not a good way to try and roll, by the way. Uh... I was like, okay, he's still fucking off over there, good. I'll just stay over here, mind our own business, and have our little duel to the death, right? That's that's the way this is gonna go, right? He totally won't, he's mind. He's minding! Is he minding? I can't tell. No, he's minding now. Yeah, he, he had to... He had to, he had to actually, you know, jump in. I was like, okay, they're actually gonna fight again, sweet. I'm just gonna try not to die here while you two fight, so have at it. That seems like a good plan, right? I'm like, I know these little guys are getting annoyed, but they're not really fucking with me yet, so I'm gonna let them live. Right? That's the way it always is. That's not, that's not usually how it plays out. If you've ever fought anything in this area, you probably know what's going to happen here. You probably know eventually what's going to happen. It's inevitable. It always happens. I may look like a jackass just running in a circle, but what the hell else am I supposed to do here, honestly? <laughs> I don't want to hit. I don't want to hit Azure Rathalos. I'm like, well, you two can just fight, and maybe I can do some damage eventually, right? That's a good idea. Still not sure what hit me. I think he was a walking hitbox there, but okay then. Nope. I don't know how I got out of that. I should have gotten hit by that, but I'm not gonna argue. I'm like, why me? What I do to you? I'm gonna try it. It's wishful thinking. And of course the tail was... Nope. Uh, not a good place to be, so I backed up. <laughs> you gotta take what hit you. I broke the arm, so the left arm is now broken. Just keep a note of that, the left arm's broken. 
It's like, well, shit. Can't really get over that way. Gotta walk over this way. Now he's tired, of course. And, of course, that stunned him, so he moved about 20 feet in that direction. Because fuck you, Greatsword, that's why. We don't have a reason, it's just fuck you. I guess I, I guess it's fuck you, you need better position and get better. <laughs> now you might think I landed on Brachydeos, but I somehow ended up on Raytheon, or Raytheon, on the Azure Rathalus, I'm like, you know what, screw it. No, 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 no. Screw you. I'm here. Screw you. And no, I wasn't trying to get a full charge on that because I'm not trying to fight that. It actually worked in my favor because if not, I would have been landed in that gunk, but oh well. <laughs> it's like, maybe you'll uh, leave now. Also, if you might notice, my cool drink is gone. I noticed. I was just looking for a time to actually drink. I just, you know, not trying to capitalize on the Rathalos because I couldn't care less. I was like, okay, you're in, you're, you two are fighting. I'm just going to take this opportunity and... Uh, Stand here, apparently, you know. Because you just yell at each other like five-year-olds. I know these... I don't know why these things are more afraid of me than they are these two giant behemoths, but they were more afraid of me, the buffalo-looking things. This was wish wishful thinking, and of course, like I said, at this point I'm living. I'm like, oh, no, 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 you wanted to inject yourself in this fight, right? You wanted to fight me, you're gonna fight me. I was bloodlusted. You don't mess with the man's true charge, John. You don't mess with it. No. You brought this on yourself, man. Yep. I didn't care that I got hit by that thing. I wanted to kill those things. Kind of hard to see that in the in the lava. I'm just gonna tell you. It really is. It's kind of a design flaw. I don't even know if that stuff can be in lava. I assumed it could. So yeah, my, uh, my, I wasn't even trying to kill the boss at this point. No, 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 no. No, I'm petty. I'm an ass. You act like an asshole to me. We're either going to kill you, or we're going to enslave you. That's how me and Felicity do this, okay? That's how we do it. Don't ask me how the physics of that works. I, it doesn't make any sense. But it, it somehow happens, that move. Not that this Gastodon's gonna do anything. Oh, that's not a good place to be. But I somehow managed to time that just right. <laughs> I was like, oh, good. Now you're, uh, now you're taking your time over there while I'm drinking. Of course you are. You only do that when I'm drinking or far away. That's how it always works with my greatsword. Have you noticed? I've noticed. It annoys me, too. Yeah, this boy, you, you, I was a little early. That was my own fault there. <laughs> totally all my fault. For some reason, I thought the tail went the other way first, but it doesn't. But, again, that's because I, you know, first time fighting the thing, forgot which way. I, I mean, it's basically a berry off copy-paste move. Let's not be... Let's not get uh, mistaken here. That that's, that's a lazy move right there. But, uh, <laughs> the tail swipe, or whatever the hell. Like, yeah, I don't want to fight you in that. So, no. I'm just gonna wait in here. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, so I actually decided to show off this mo this uh, gameplay mechanic a little bit more this time, because... Why not? Right? Because... What I need is totally just to... Just to... Show this off. I mean, there's actually nothing to do, but sure. Just... Run in there. Why not? Okay, get off the thing. Have fun in here. By the way. Oh yeah, no, this is fair. Both of you coming at me at once. Can you stop screaming like a little child, please? Just for two seconds. Just two seconds. That's all I ask for. This is why I run earplugs and a lot of builds right here. Just to avoid this shit. I was like, well, if there's ever a time for the damn Temporal Mantle, it's when there's a Azure Rathalos and a Prakadios in the same room. This is the time for it. Of course, he falls down while I'm looking the wrong direction, because fuck you, that's why. But you know, that's how it works. That's always how it works. Also, fuck you, he got up at the exact worst time. You missed the true charge, jackass. 
Because fuck you. It does seem like that's the rationale for a lot of these things. Yeah, fuck you, Eve. Just flinched the wrong way at the exact worst time. Fuck you again. I'm like, fuck, you know what, fine, I'll just do the quick hits then. If you won't let me actually hit a true charge, yeah, no, 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 you come back here. No, no, no. You take me off now. I'm not letting you go. I know that does shit all damage, by the way. I just wanted to hit the thing. That's why I was doing this. I assume that was the Azure Rathalos being an ass back there. I'm not sure, but I think that's what it was. Or that was gunk on the floor I didn't see. I couldn't tell, but... I was trying to break the horn, if you couldn't notice, but I... Yeah. Can't... It's hard to hit the horn with the greatsword without, you know, fucking dying. So the safest part to hit is the back legs, which do, like, no damage, so... Yeah. Like, well, I'm gonna try it. I don't think it'll work, but I'm gonna try it. It actually worked. <laughs> I don't think I should have been hit by that, but okay then. Yeah, you just gotta block sometimes, man. It sucks, but you gotta do it. I, as you might notice, I don't block that often. For good reason. Blocking is bad with a greatsword. But, if it's between dying and blocking... It's worth the, uh... It's worth it. And I figured this might actually be worth it so I can actually break the horns a little easier, right? That's a good idea, right? I don't even know if you can break things horns. I've only fought it the one time, so I assume you can, but I don't know. Now, maybe he didn't sleep because I've been in the room every time he tries to go to sleep, but a lot of monsters will go to sleep right next to you, or maybe this thing just does not sleep, but I can tell you in this, my experience, he does not go to sleep at the end. He doesn't do it. Because I waited for it. Once. I mean, I didn't really. I was in the same room with him, and I walked right up to him, but he doesn't seem to go to sleep. That was a bad, bad timing. Yep, not a good place to be. I got greedy there. Yeah, I hate fighting him in this room. He's out of bounds half the fight. I, I mean, I hate that. If he didn't go out of bounds, it wouldn't be so bad, but he goes out of bounds. So, like, well, just gonna start working on the other arm then, man. Might as well. <laughs> But yeah, it looks like he's going to go sleep, right? In my experience, he just does not do it. Again, because I'm right on his ass, that might be why, you know, for good reason, but... I just wanted him to die, quick. That's basically why I was doing this. I guess it'd be kind of hard to fall asleep, though, if a person's following you and smacking you and... Yeah, like right here. Maybe if I had been, like, farther away, he would have went to sleep up there. I don't know. But, uh... Like I said, I haven't seen him sleep yet. As far as this last part of the fight, I would much rather fight him up here than I would down in that narrow little corridor of sorts down there. Just because you have room to maneuver a little more up here, and if he has gunk on him, which he almost always does, it's just easier to fight him up here just because you have some room. I was like, I'm not trying to hit you when you're surrounded in your own crap, so no. Of course, he only needed one more hit, but, you know, you gotta be choosy. <laughs> choosy pallet ghost, choose when to attack. Anyway, I was going for a cat food joke, it just did not work. Anyway, that's the Bracadios fight, the regular. I've heard the other variant of Bracadios is actually easier than this fight, which is nice, because apparently he doesn't drop the gunk on the floor. I imagine that means his his uh, attacks actually hurt far worse, though, if I had to guess. But yeah, the Bracadillos fight is about what I remember, the punchy dinosaur. I don't remember the gunk on the floor, but that might just be me not remembering, because I just shielded up and blocked a lot of shit and poked on in my uh, in my lobbies back in the day. Hey, you can say one thing about me, I might have gave up on the Greatsword in 3U at the very end in Master Rank, but by God, I tried not to screw people's hunts over by fainting a lot. <laughs> and by at the end of the day, people were like, hey, so long as you don't faint a lot, I don't care if you're here. And I was like, well, that means I gotta go Lance. 
So this was my first attempt at fighting with the great sword, I think. Considering it took me 10 minutes in the mission to find him, that was about a 24 minute hunt. Not bad with the great, not with, bad with the great sword first time fighting it with it. And I'm not exaggerating when I say I took, I went around the whole map until I went down to that area to start that. The whole map. <laughs> until I went, oh wait a minute, I haven't been over there. Her. So yeah, that's about it. Let's see, welcome back. I'm glad you're in one piece. Thanks to the field team's efforts, we've gathered enough tracks to ascertain Velcana's whereabouts. That's no small feat. Thank you. The Elder's Recess. That's where we'll find it. Even by Elder standards, Velcana is too powerful a force. Left alone, the entire New World ecosystem will be wiped out. That includes us. Our immediate goal is driving it back to the hinterlands where it belongs. For now, that's enough. Alright. Time to stand and fight. So yeah. Apparently we're going to go fight the mother-loving Velcana next, or at least drive it off, from what I understand. And no, I'm not ever going to do that goddamn Geralt quest. I don't like Geralt. I don't like the Witcher, period, so I'm not doing it. It's a matter of principle. Anyway, I will see you all Saturday. Until then, everybody. Until then. Have a good one.